Welcome to the video on writing acid and base equation. We've written several equations so far in class, but I just wanted to review because we're going to get into a section of the, the unit where you're going to have to write a lot of equations. We're going to have to figure out what the equations are yourself. All right, if you have an acid, a weak acid, dissociating, it's called dissociation because it's breaking apart into ions. So basically, you just take your weak acid, we don't care what the anion is, and we just pop the hydrogen off, and then whatever we're left with, that's our anion. So it's just Hx, whatever x is, and we have the equilibrium arrow, and we get H, and we get x. Base hydrolysis is a little bit different because you need to have water. Because again, the definition of a base is it takes a hydrogen away from another molecule. So we need to have another molecule there to give the hydrogen. So we add water. So you're going to have some kind of base. Now this will probably be something that starts off as a, um, a salt. So let's say we had a base that was sodium. Um, no, not sodium. That would be Let's see. Um, well, we can have a neutral base, and it would work just the same thing as this negative. Or we could have, yeah, let's say just sodium chloride. And so then we're just looking at the fluorine. We don't want the sodium part. So then we get the fluorine negative. We just have the sodium. Okay, so we'll have whatever our base is, and then we'll add water to it. Water is a liquid, so therefore it's not going to influence the rice table. It's not going to influence the KB expression. Um, and then it will take the hydrogen away from the water to make oh, some kind of weak acid, the conjugate acid, and then it'll make the hydroxide, and that was not, makes it so obvious that this is a base reaction. <coughs> now, you just recently learned about buffers. And we talked about the purpose of a buffer is to hold the pH steady. When you add a base to a buffer, you're going to add it to the acid portion of a buffer. Remember, a buffer is a weak acid and a weak base mixed together. Uh, they have the conjugates of each other. So here's our weak acid. We're going to add our base. So we don't care what the cation was. It's just hydroxide. So our weak acid plus our base makes water, which again will not influence the KB or KA expression or anything like that. And then we're just going to, it's taking the hydrogen away. So we're just going to be left with our conjugate base. So here's our conjugate acid, conjugate base. If you add an acid, it's exactly the opposite. Now we're going to take our conjugate base and we're going to add the acid to it. And so then it will um, form our weak acids. If you can conjugate base, you can conjugate acid. So when you're dealing with a buffer, just think, okay, what am I adding to this buffer? I'm going to add it to the opposite portion of the buffer. Let's try an example. Let's say we're making a buffer from ammonia and ammonium chloride. And then we're going to titrate that buffer with acid, meaning we're adding acid to the buffer. So we start off with ammonia, NH3, and ammonium chloride. NH4Cl, we don't care about the chlorine, it's just a spectator ion. So if we're going to add acid to this, then we're going to add it to the base portion of the buffer. The base portion would be the ammonia. So we're going to take our ammonia, add the acid to it, and it will create our conjugate acid, which we already had in the buffer, which is going to make more of it. And then conversely, if we titrate this same buffer with a base, it's going to be adding to the acidic portion of the, the buffer. We don't care about the chlorine, so we're just going to get rid of that. And we're going to add a base to it. And then this hydroxide is going to steal the hydrogen away from the ammonium, giving us water, which we don't really care about as far as our KB expression, and our ammonium, I'm sorry, we KA expression. So for the Future rice tables that we're going to be doing, when we, especially when we hit titrations, you're going to have to write these kinds of equations yourself. So I want to make sure that everybody's clear on when I see a, just an acid and I'm trying to figure out like the pH of a weak acid, I'm going to write an equation like this. If I'm trying to figure out the pH of a weak base, I'm going to write an equation like this. If I've got a buffer, then I'm going to um, figure out what part of the buffer is being used when I add my strong acid or my strong base. Thank you.